So the fall semester is over, and many college students are headed home for the holidays. For the most part, local schools manage to avoid dangerous super spreader events. Ten of your sides, Regina Mobley, checked on Norfolk State, which will continue that trend into the new year, Regina. Tom, the university is asking students to stay the course, continue social distancing, wearing masks and sanitizing their hands. NSU has had low infection numbers and the school wants to keep it that way. But because of high infection rates in other states, some students will make the campus their home for the holidays. College life came to a screeching halt in March when Governor Northam shut down schools and all but essential businesses. Slowly, campuses reopened to a changed world that required distance and virtual learning. As students head home for the holidays, the director of all things COVID-19 at Norfolk State University hopes students will continue to use the same safe practices that were required on campus. But generally speaking, I've been very pleased. And students are very supportive. Right? And, and, and the, not only that, but the, the staff, the faculty, everybody at the university has done a wonderful job. NSU officials say in October into November, they saw a spike, but overall final grades for the semester are consistent with regional trends. In cumulative numbers, NSU has had 41 cases, ODU 208, CNU 103, and the College of William and Mary checks in with 83 cases. Toward the end, things kind of got, got a little dicey, but um, not out of control. But not all students are headed home. At NSU, 200 students apply to a program that allows them to stay on campus through the entire holiday season if infection rates in their hometowns is high or if there are close quarters at home. The, the requests that are, leg, that are legitimate, that sound legitimate, um, that make sense to us, um, you know, we, 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 we will do what we can to accommodate those students. We're not, we're not trying to put them in harm's way by any stretch of the imagination. When classes resume at NSU in January, everyone will be tested for COVID-19. Anyone who is positive will be isolated. And if you test negative but you have symptoms, you will be placed in quarantine. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side. And we